On January 12th on Reddit, there was a supposed leak for the first two pages of the Star Wars Episode 8 script. Let's talk about it. Hey, Super Tubers, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and spread the word about the channel, and find me on these social media platforms. Over on Reddit, somebody posted a link to an IMGR which featured a supposed leak of the first two pages of the Star Wars Episode 8 script. Now, the first thing I'm noticing with the script is that it says here by Ryan Johnson and George Lucas. Now, I'm not entirely sure why Lucas is credited here because as far as I know, the screenplay is being written by only Ryan Johnson with, of course, some story notes from J.J. Abrams who wrote Episode 7. However, it's possible that maybe George Lucas either gave some ideas that were used here or he's being credited because he created the original universe i'm not sure also here it says the fourth draft september 2013 and i'm thinking back and i honestly off the top of my head don't remember if ryan johnson even had the job back then so i'm already a little bit skeptical about the legitimacy of this leak here it says october 2012 now before we go any further i just want to say this i'm going i'm going to go down and analyze this these two pages this will contain spoilers if it's real. I don't know if this is real, and to be honest, it probably is not, but nonetheless, if it is, you've been warned these are possible spoilers. So if we move down to the next page here, um, starts out with a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, of course, and then the crawl reads as follows. After the destruction of the super weapon Starkiller base, the resistance has managed to take root on swaths of worlds. See, the grammar here is kind of bad. Another red flag, guys. Uh, I don't know. Swaths of world previously dominated by the First Order during the chaos that ensued. Uh, although this marks a great success, and again, success is misspelled, uh, for the Resistance, unrest still grips the galaxy. While Rey has departed on board the Millennium Falcon with BB-8 to search for Luke Skywalker, on Ak-2, the heroes of the Resistance, Poe Dameron and the former Stormtrooper Finn, have left in search for the First Order's headquarters. Again, another misspelling right here. Hidden deep within the mysterious unknown region of the galaxy. Now, understand, I don't want to harp on the typos too bad, because this is just a draft, but every script that I've ever read usually gets put through spell check, so... Little skeptical about this one, okay, guys? Um, but we're still going to talk about it. With them is Amanda Quo, a bounty hunter who claims to have knowledge of the location of the First Order. The spacing of these paragraphs in this crawl seems a little like two big ones and one really small one. They've never done that before. They try to make them kind of even, and this one, this middle one, and this first one seem way too big. I'm skeptical. Again, when you're doing movies, these guys know what they do, what they're doing. Excuse me. So it looks like the film opens up with like a shot of a shuttle and you have these two pilots that are essentially talking to each other, piloting a ship. And this, of course, leads to page two, which goes into um, the, uh, basically what's happening here. If you, I'm not going to actually read the entire thing. I will link to it below. But I'll be honest, guys, by the time that you watch this video, very possible this could get taken down. So I'm just letting you know that ahead of time. But if I, I will still link to it. Nonetheless, it what appears to happen is that the two pilots are talking about landing on a ship uh, or on a planet uh, called Sector 5. And this is somewhere that's a, it's a first order base. And it looks like, you know, they're landing in this industrial city. That's what appears to happen. And uh, they're talking about, you know, these double doors open up and, a, and a, figure in a figure in black descends on the ramp. And, of course, it's Kylo Ren. It says here, a medical patch is plastered on his left side, visible through his scorched robes. Light rain makes his hair, another typo right here, and sections in his costume glisten. Um, it looks like, from what I've seen, okay, it's Kylo Ren wanting to speak to Snoke. Because the guy, the delegate says, do you require medical further, further medical? Where is Snoke? I need to speak with him. Yes, he's been expecting you. It sounds to me like this movie, if this is real, is supposed to start right after Force Awakens. Like, literally, this is Kylo Ren landing on a First Order planet right after his fight with uh, with Rey. I am skeptical because never before in Star Wars have they ever had a film pick up right after the previous one. There's always a time skip. There were smaller time skips in between the old trilogy and there were longer ones in between the prequels. Episode 1 and 2 was 10 years. Episodes 2 and 3 were 3 years. And then episodes 3 to 4 was like, gee, like 17 years or something like that. So nonetheless, it just feels like 
this is right after episode eight, and that screams fake to me. So I'm going to be honest, guys. If you were to say, hey, what is your, uh, I guess, your final verdict on this? This is very, very likely fake. Not to mention right here, the date has 11-9-2012, and as we know, the story for Star Wars Episode Seven was still being written at that time. It was not complete at that time. Very skeptical of this. I wouldn't believe it if I were you. Nonetheless, what do you think? Is there a truth to it? I'm saying fake. What do you think, though? Let me know in the comments section below, and thanks for watching. And, uh, hey, I'll catch you down the road. And who knows? Maybe maybe it will be this. I just have my doubts. Let's, let's think realistically here, but we'll see. Talk to you then.